So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at DJI. And I couldn't be happier about that. And you'll see why here in just a minute. You guys hang in there. All right, guys, what we're gonna be looking at today is the DJI Power 1000. Now guys, there's a few reasons why I'm really excited about this. The first reason is this is a new power unit and you guys know that I love power units. I'm a prepper, I like being prepared and these power units are a cornerstone of being prepared for uncertain situations that will come in the future because they are coming guys. Just sit back and wait, they're gonna happen. Either it be a storm, an earthquake, power outage, something like that, they happen all the time. These power units help you be prepared. That's the first reason. The other reason is I love DJI. I use their microphones. Let me see if I can get in here. Right there, it's the same company. They make the microphone that I use for these videos. I use their cameras, their drone, all kinds of their technology. And guys, DJI gets it right. All right, guys, like I said earlier, this is the DJI Power 1000. This is straight out of the box. I've not even turned it on yet. So let's see how much of a charge we got from the factory. I'm assuming that's on and off. Yes, that's on and off. So from the factory, we're sitting at 56%. That's good. We'll charge this up later, maybe with the solar panels, but it's looking kind of cloudy today. I'm not sure if that will happen or not. Real fast, let's go over all these buttons and these inputs and what they do. So this power unit here is kind of different from other ones that I've used. Everything is on the face right here. There's nothing on the sides or the back. That's kind of interesting. Over here on the left, you have your two AC inputs for alternate current. Plug those in, whatever you want to charge up or power. And you have to hit this button right here, I'm assuming. Yes, you hit that button right there, the AC button, which turns these on. When you're done with them, you turn them off. That conserves your power and it doesn't waste energy going to these outlets when you don't need it to be doing that. Over here on the other side, we have a button for 1200 watts and 600, we'll keep that on 1200. Right here is your main charging port if you're gonna plug this into the grid, and it did come with the plug to go in here. That's how most of the people charge these up unless the power's out. The power's out, gotta have solar panels or a gas generator to charge those up. Right here beside it, you have different inputs for your solar panels right there. That's really handy. And then lastly, right here in the middle, you have your screen, which shows the input and the output, as well as your USB and your C inputs right there below them. Now this one right here, friends, is kind of unique because I don't see an on and off button for these DC inputs right here. I'm assuming, and I'm probably right about this, I'll do some research, and if I'm not, I'll let you guys know power does not go to these ports unless something's plugged in therefore you can conserve your battery and not be wasting power right here ac and dc power are totally different animals and that's why you probably have a switch right here on the ac now one thing people always comment about with these battery units are how much do they weigh this one comes in at 13 kilograms which is right at 28 pounds and it's pretty light guys for a battery unit this size 28 pounds is not bad so the DJI Power 1000 is a 1,024 watt hour portable power station capable of supplying power to common appliances in a wide range of scenarios such as outdoor leisures and entertainment, outdoor filming, and situations requiring emergency backup power. It features a 70 minute fast charging function, a safe and portable design, multiple output ports, and a DJI Power SDC fast charging function for DJI drones. Now that right there, friends, is a really nice feature because I use DJI drones in my videos. Not every video, but maybe once or twice a month, I'll put the drone up in the air and give you guys a different view of what's going on. And this power unit is made specifically to keep that charged because there's one thing about drones, the batteries don't last a real long time and having something like this on hand when you're out here doing recording in the field, is gonna be really nice. Now here's some more key features from this power unit. It has an ultra high capacity power output, 2200 watts stable output until the battery runs out, 2600 watts sustained for 30 seconds, and 4400 at peak output. Now here's something else I've never thought about. The noise output is just 23 decibels. So let's say you're out camping somewhere and you're going to bed at night and your kids are with you, you got your cell phone, maybe you got a computer or an iPad, you know how kids are, and you want to plug all that stuff up for the night to keep it charged, but you don't want any background noise. 
that's pretty nice. I never thought about that. And as far as my situation goes, I'm out here videoing just about every day and I'm losing batteries constantly on these cameras. And I use power units to keep them charged out here in the field. And one thing I do not want is background noise while I'm talking to you guys. So 23 decibels, that's pretty good. And also one more thing I touched on earlier, you have your dual 140 watt USB-C ports. And these are for ultra fast charging right here on the front. This will charge two 16 inch MacBook Pros to 50% in 30 minutes. 30 minutes, that's faster than my house can charge them. And one question I always get in these power unit videos is, which one do you like the best? Well, for the sake of arguments, let's do a quick comparison with an EcoFlow unit. So we're gonna be comparing the DJI to the EcoFlow Delta II. And this is a pretty fair comparison because these are similar sizes as far as what kind of battery is in it and also its capabilities. So just like the DJI, the EcoFlow is pretty similar. Has the on and off right there. Well, it takes a second to come on sometimes. Got your display screen with all your information. You have your USB ports right there. But unlike the DJI, this one, if you want to use the AC, you have to turn it all the way around. I think I prefer having all the outputs turn you guys over on the front right here. That's really nice to have every output that you want to use on the front and you're not flipping back and forth with your machine. So as far as versatility goes, DJI wins that one. All right, guys. So here is some real life comparisons on both of these units that are a similar make and model. The DJI Power 1000 has 22 watts of stable output until the battery runs out. The EcoFlow Delta has 1800 watts of stable output until the battery depletion. Pretty big difference right there, 400 watt difference. DJI Power 1000 has 2600 watts sustained for 30 seconds. The EcoFlow Delta II has 2400 watts sustained for 60 seconds. Another difference of 200 watts right there, so DJI Power is winning so far. Also on the DJI Power 1000, 4,400 watt peak output. The EcoFlow Delta II comes in at 2,700 week peak output. So lastly here on the output, the DJI Power 1000 comes in at 4,400 watts on the peak output. EcoFlow Delta, 2,700 watts on the peak output. Now that peak output is very important guys because I use power tools on these units sometimes every day. And you want as much peak output as you can get because these saws and stuff, they're pretty powerful and they pull a lot of amperage and you want enough watts to power those when it peaks. So one more point for DJI. I think they're winning. As far as the output ports go, the DJI Power 1000 has dual 140 watt ports, a PDI 3.1 and a type C, charges two 16 inch MacBook Pros to 50% in 30 minutes, which I stated earlier. The EcoFlow Delta II has two dual 100 watt ports, 3.1 and type C. So as far as this comparison goes, friends, DJI wins in every category. The only thing I can't measure is the noise level. This one is 23 decibels. This one is a little bit louder, but I don't have a proper meter here to measure that. So I'm not gonna do a comparison with it. But this one shines in every category. And the key feature I think with the DJI is more power. And that's what you want. You want as much power as you can get in this model, in this price range of these two machines right here, these two battery units, that sounds a lot better. This one is the one I would go with for two reasons. Number one, it has more power. And number two, it's DJI. And guys, I'm a DJI junkie. I love their stuff. They never go wrong, it seems like. So let's get the EcoFlow out of here since we've already declared a winner. And I'll show you guys some scenarios where I use these power units every day. All right, guys, now that we've determined that DJI is the better of the two, let me show you guys a few scenarios here that I use these power units on daily. There's not one day goes by that one of these power units are not in my side-by-side. -side. I use them all the time. Let me give you some examples. So let's say the power is out and you want to make some coffee because you've got to have coffee every day. No problem. Bring the coffee maker out to the garage, plug it in, get the power unit going, and there you go. It's made you some coffee. Let's say you're in the wood shop and the power just went out, but you need to finish up your project and also plug in your miter saw and there you go. 
If you finish what you're doing because you're not relying on the power anymore when you have these power units, guys. And that's one of the reasons why I love these power units because you're not relying on anybody else for power anymore. You can do it yourself. And when they go dead, you can also charge them with solar panels. Let me show you. Now guys, when it comes to recharging your power unit, I think solar is the best option. The reason being, we get these to be prepared for uncertain situations. And when they happen, the grid may be down for a long time. So when this thing does go dead because it won't last forever, you can recharge it and not to charge it off the grid. That's where you use your solar panels. So I got this from DJI also. This is an adapter for the solar power connection. Set that down. Hook it right in there. Don't do it upside down like I did. You got three different options right here for your solar panels. You can do three different sets if you want to. So you open up one of those. Take the cord from your solar panel and plug it in the right way. I've done that twice now. And you're done as far as this end goes. As far as the solar panels go, guys, they're pretty simple. And the days of having these large solar panels on the roof of your house are over. These are portable. They don't take up a lot of room. They're not heavy. You fold them out, you face them to the south, and you got power going to your unit. And these are not expensive. And I will advise you, when you order your DJI power unit, go ahead, get the adapter and the solar panel, and you will be glad you did. And you'll have a complete set right here for an off-grid situation. You just unfold it like this. Usually has some Velcro on it. Put it that way right there, face it to the south. And some people actually, and I've done this before, they'll lay them flat on the ground and I've seen them charge like that as well. But for the best case scenario, you'll face it to the south and kind of do it just like that. And the only thing about these solar panels you gotta watch for is wind. Wind will knock them over. So keep an eye on them because they will get knocked over if it's storming or something like that. But if it's storming, you probably shouldn't be using them anyways. So that's that. I should play in my words better sometimes. Well, the sun came out. That's the way it goes. The watts are going up over there on the screen, so this will power up even faster now. And guys, I can't stress enough, if you're going to buy one of these DJI power units, go ahead and buy the adapter and get the solar panels. You'll be glad you did, because if the power goes out, you can't recharge these things unless maybe you have a generator or something like that, and then you got to buy gas and all that stuff. This is free energy repowering your unit. You can't beat it. Get the solar panels. All right, guys, I guess I'm done for the day. I want to say thank you once again to DJI for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. And guys, I can't stress enough how nice it is to have these power units around the farm. You can live in an apartment. It don't matter. These things are great to have. You'll never regret having one of these. I gave my dad one of them for Christmas a year ago. He uses it all the time, all the time. I've got all kinds of buddies who have these and they never call me up and say, I regret having that power unit. They're nice to have. It's a good investment. It's not expensive, but it's not cheap. But man, it's great to have because if you need one of these, man, you really need one. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.